Several years ago, I went downstairs to the hospital and then I came across a child. The child was five or six months old, third degree burn all over the body. But that was not burn. When a child suffers from that type of severe acute malnutrition, all the skin becomes, you know, damaged. And when I looked at the child, I said, oh my goodness, he's not going to make it. Fortunately, the research that we have done at ICDDRBI, myself and my colleagues, has given us the knowledge of taking care of these children. And the child survived. I have a photograph of that child leaving this hospital just one month after admission, all in smiles. We were established in 1960, and the primary focus was to find out a remedy for enteric intestinal diseases like cholera. This is the gangetic delta. There's a lot of cholera as well as other intestinal infections. And in the 1960s, there was no remedy. People used to die like flies. So ICDDRB started the work and the first thing that came to the minds of scientists working here was how to take care of the dehydration. So the immediate uh, remedy would be to give something that actually replenishes the loss of body water. And the WHO has estimated that so far, oral rehydration salt alone has saved the lives of 70 million people. I can't think of any other remedy that has been able to save so many lives. We now take care of 200,000 patients every year, absolutely free of cost. These are all poor people who can't go to any other clinic because they don't have the money, the resources. We work on pneumonia, respiratory tract infections. We work on vaccines against cholera, vaccines against typhoid, vaccines against dengue fever. We also work a lot on COVID-19. Apart from that, our scientists, they are also working on social science issues. If you look at the global guidelines on nutrition, on maternal health, on child health, and many other issues, you will find the name of ICDDRB. That's the role that ICDDRB plays for improving global health. It's not just Bangladesh, not just low and middle income countries. We say that this is the gift of Bangladesh to the rest of the world.